Welcome to my lecture online. So here's a second example trying to determine if two lines are parallel based upon what we know about interior and exterior angles. So here we're given two pairs of lines. We have given C and D and A and B and they told us that C is parallel to D. So these two lines are parallel to one another. They also told us that the measure of angle 1 is congruent to measure of angle 3. So angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent. Now we're supposed to show that lines A and B are parallel to one another. So first of all, let's mark what we have here. We can see that this angle right here is congruent to, to this angle right there. So I have to find some information about these angles here in order for me to determine if A and B are parallel. Because I don't know anything about angle 2, so I do have to work off of these two angles right here. But then I realized that vertical angles are congruent, which means that this angle here is congruent to this angle right there. So let's call that angle 4. And so we know that angle 3 and angle 4 are what we call vertical angles or opposite angles. And so we could say that angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles. And from that I can conclude that they must have the same measure. So therefore we can say that the measure of angle 3 is congruent to the measure of angle 4. Alright, so now we know that C and D are parallel. And this is an interior angle right here. And this is an interior angle. These are what we call corresponding interior angles. If we assume that line A is the... Is the um, um, cuts through lang angles C and D and so therefore we know that angle 4 must therefore be that's an interior angle must therefore be congruent to this angle right here so let's call this angle angle 5 and so we know that they must be congruent because this is a transversal and we have two parallel lines right there so we know that angle 4 must be course must be congruent to angle 5 so measure of angle 4 is congruent to the measure of of angle 5. And now we're on track to show that A and B are parallel because now you can see that, line, that angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding interior angles and we know that they must therefore be equal to one another and so we can then clearly see that since uh, angle 5 and angle 1 are what we call corresponding interior angles. And since they're congruent, we can therefore conclude that A must therefore be parallel to B. And that is how it's done.